Hi everyone. Thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video ever. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Valentine watercolor envelope to send out. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. friends and make it fun to look at. <clears throat> so this is a piece of contact paper and um, I just traced a heart on it with a sharpie and what we'll do is we'll just tr cut out this heart. Now you could do this of course obviously with any shape that you ever wanted to but I really like hearts and I'm in a heart phase right now so... <laughs> First, what we're the first step would be to get the paper wet. Now, I like to do this in a wet on wet technique so that the paint spreads. And um, I'm just using a number 10, something that holds a lot of water because I want it to be plenty wet. I don't want it to dry before I'm ready for it to dry. So, I'm just going to start by wetting around the paper. And I really like the look of um, not like a even smooth edge. I like kind of this jaggy edge a little bit. Just like that. Just like that. Nice and wet. Then um, we will start, let's see, I guess we'll start with pink. Give a little pink here. See how that color just spreads and just bleeds its way out? I love it. It's so pretty. Just like that. We'll save that for... A little bit later. Um, next we'll do the indigo. Look at how pretty that is. Such a pretty color. That's it. You'll see also how like it's super dark over here and not so dark right here. That's kind of what I like. And because I don't want the colors to mix too much, I'm gonna um, clean my brush in between and then we'll go gray. See how it spreads? It's so pretty. It's like my favorite thing. It's a little tiny bit dark over here, so I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of pink more on this side. Just pick up some paint with my brush, just like that. Brush on some pink, just to give it a little extra. And of course you could do this with any colors that you like no rules which is like the extra fun part about watercolor I drop in a little extra color here and really you just do how you like like those are the rules is do what you want see how it kind of bled over there that's pretty I like that You can always add a little extra water here and there, however you feel, whatever you feel like, really. Okay, so now that we're done with the paint, it needs to still be wet for this next step. And you can see it's definitely wet all the way around, um, around the heart is what we want. I'm gonna use gold, this Ecoline Gold, and um, let's see here. Drop a little bit of water in there it's a tiny bit thick for me and then I'm gonna use a smaller brush this time probably a four but totally use whatever you have it doesn't really matter mix it up here now because it's still wet this gold should bleed out see how it bleeds out like that it's so pretty leads out right into the color. Now only work if it's still wet. If it's not still wet, you're gonna just draw a line, which would be pretty too, but that's not what we're doing today. 
There we go. See how it's a little bit not spreading right through there because I think it's still a little dry. Now um, with the rest of this little bit of gold paint, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to make it even thinner and mix it up. And I'm just gonna give some little taps all over my paint here. The whole envelope is gonna get these little splashes, these paint splatters because it's pretty and I like pretty. You'll notice where it lands like in the paint here and here, it does a little bit of spread. So there's not, I don't think there's really a special way to do this. There's just how you like is what's special about it. That's it, just like that, it's a little splatter. Okay, so that's it. We're just gonna give it a second to dry. Okay, now comes the fun part. I like to use my little Cricut spatula I will just lift the edge here like this. Totally use your fingers or your tweezers or whatever if you don't have a Cricut spatula. And you'll just pull it right up. You'll see this nice edge. Just like that. Perfect. Just like that. Now this you can reuse again for another project or you could just chuck it. Whatever you want. Um, so now we have our pretty, isn't this beautiful? This is my favorite. I love how it does like these little edges where there was more water, more paint that took longer to dry. It's my favorite part. It adds such pretty texture. Okay, so now we flip it over. That's not even the pretty part. Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? Such a pretty envelope. Anybody would love to get this in the mail. Um, all you have to do, add a stamp and address it. And and that's it. It's ready to send off to a friend, a loved one, or your sister for Valentine's Day. Or just to brighten up any old day. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, see more fun projects on Instagram at Handwritten Everything.